My Distinguished Young Women journey started last January when I decided to participate in my local program. I loved going to practices every Friday and spending time with the girls. We were able to become really close friends and I am so thankful for everything I learned from them and for everyone who came to support me. State was an obvious highlight of my senior year. This last October, I was able to go to State DYW and live in Idaho Falls for a week with an amazing host family. Shout out to the Haycocks who are here tonight. While I was there, I spent hours in a tiny gym and I can say I have every detail of the Navy gym in Idaho Falls committed to memory. State was very hectic because it was three months of hard work crammed into a single week but I was able to recover from the six hours of fitness on the first day and still have a blast for the rest of the week. I learned so many new things about public speaking and interviews and had the opportunity to help with the school supply drive for children in my community who are in foster care and put together feminine hygiene packs for girls all over the country. My absolute favorite part of state was meeting the representatives from the other programs. They are truly some of the best people in the world. The week of state was packed full of core memories and I'm extremely grateful for all the friendships I made, the lessons I learned, and for the best smoothie I have ever had. Ask the Haycocks for their recipe. You will not regret it. I cannot express what the other 34 girls there mean to me and how much I love and miss them all. This week had such an amazing impact on my confidence and my life, and I am a little bit jealous of all the girls who get to go next year. I am the luckiest girl in the world to have Scout and Tate to look up to. There is absolutely no way I could have been successful in DYW, or anything else for that matter, without them. Thank you for calling me randomly with self-expression and interview questions and not letting me hang up until I answer seriously. Thank you for critiquing my push-ups, and thank you for being my best friends in the whole wide world. I love you both with all of my heart. I am so blessed to have gone through this journey with two of my best friends. Zoe and Meg have been heaven sent. I have loved spending time with them and laughing with them the entire way. The committee probably wishes we would shut up once in a while, but we have had the time of our lives at practice helping these girls get ready for this night. Thank you both for helping me this year and supporting me so much. I love you guys. Thank you to my parents for everything you do for me every day. Thank you for supporting me and helping me make good decisions. Mom, thank you for helping me be responsible and for being so knowledgeable about everything. Dad, thank you for pushing me to become better and for being my best friend. I love you both so much. I have loved watching these girls grow over the last three months. None of this could be possible without the amazing new committee this year. I am so honored to be the last distinguished young woman of the Lacey Seacrest, and I am forever grateful for everything she has taught me. Finally, thank you to the Distinguished Young Women program. I have grown exponentially in the last year, and despite not being thrilled initially, I am so grateful for my opportunity I've had to be the Distinguished Young Woman of Snake River.